Now this is a, an interesting wine. It's a sweet wine from South Africa. It's organic, it's fair trade. Um, but the way it's made is, is a little bit different. What happens is the grapes, when they're ripe, are picked and then they're laid out to dry on mats of straw and Ruebosch tea, which is um, quite unusual. And the idea is that as the, the grapes lie there drying, they concentrate the sugars, they concentrate the acidity. And the resulting grapes are used to make a fermented normally then and make a very sweet wine. But they pick up some character from the tea that they're lying on drying, um, which affects the wine. So let's see how it tastes. The first thing to note is that it's a, quite a, a, a dark orangey brown sort of colour. Um, it looks quite attractive. And the nose is really distinctive. Um, it's almost pungent, it's really sweet. But there's a strong citrusy, sort of lemon and orange sort of presence there as well. And there's this subtle tea-like herbal character that infuses the whole thing. And the result is, it's really complex. It's um, quite unusual too. Let's take a sip. Wow, that's remarkable. This is the sort of wine that you'd either love or hate. Um, it's incredibly sweet. Um, but there's, alongside that sweetness, there's a really bright, fresh acidity. And there's lots of lemony, um, limey, citrusy um, tanginess there to offset the sweetness. And then alongside that, there's this herb-like, tea-like complexity. Um, there's just lots of flavour there. This is the sort of wine that you'd want to sip in small quantities and to contemplate. Um, it's not the sort of wine you'd want to drink um, enormous quantities of. Um, but if you like dessert wines, and particularly wines with a bit of a quirky difference, then this is definitely for you. So in conclusion, this is a, a really striking dessert wine that gives you lots of everything. There's lots of sweetness, um, there's lots of flavour, there's lots of acidity. Um, there's a sort of wine where the flavour lingers for a long time. And if you're looking for a dessert wine that's that's got real impact to it, then I reckon this is the ticket.